Okay, so some breaking news for the Houston Texans. Star quarterback Deshaun Watson wants out of Houston. And, uh, I'm going to start this off really quick by saying I'm not surprised by this whatsoever. I am beyond not surprised that Deshaun Watson wants out of Houston. Obviously, they're disastrous here. Um, and I don't blame him whatsoever for wanting to leave. He's such a good quarterback. Just to ask you some stats this year for his stats. Um, he had a completion percentage of over 70%. His passing yards were 4,823. He threw 33 touchdowns, only seven interceptions, and a quarterback rating of 112.4. Those are some pretty good stats for a team that didn't even make the playoffs and had a complete losing season. And that season was a colossal failure. And I'm not blaming Deshaun Watson at all. He had no nothing, no weapons to go to at all, no nothing. And I honestly feel bad for the guy. I honestly hope that him and J.J. Watt get traded to a different team. Someone that can actually do something. You know, after that dumpster fire that Bill O'Brien left there, they need to go to different teams, in my opinion. Who, um, your comments on this, Mario? Yeah, well, I mean, you can obviously tell that Sean Watson was fed up with it. And I mean... There's only so much a quarterback can take. See, when they traded, when they traded uh, DeAndre Hopkins, obviously that was a big, that was a big blow to him. Obviously, it was a, you know, something that was hard for him to take. I mean, the, DeAndre Hopkins again, he's one of the best wide receivers in the league, and for you to just trade him away for like a running back who's like past his prime, David Johnson, it, it didn't work. Now, again, like you know, you had that third round pick, and we don't know what could, what that third round pick could do. That's what. You, so I mean. But I mean, it doesn't seem like there's really, this doesn't seem like there's any like light in Houston. You know what I'm saying? You traded away your best offensive lineman for, um, you trade your, you trade away, you, no, you traded to get Laramie Tunsil from the Dolphins and you got, gave away a pick for that. So right there, they, now you're losing a pick and Laramie Tunsil, I mean, he's decent, but he's not what you expected him to be. Yeah. So that really backfired on them. And then, Obviously, you could say, well, we'll all start with DeAndre Hopkins. That is true. And DeAndre Hopkins is the reason. It's not the full reason, though. He had Will Fuller, who was doing a great, great job as a wide receiver. Great job as a wide receiver. Will Fuller was doing, was doing great. Now, was he doing DeAndre Hopkins numbers? No, because DeAndre Hopkins is just, another, is just another breed of a human. So he wasn't doing those numbers. But Will Fuller was doing a very good job. Will Fuller looked like he could be the next Texan star wide receiver. What happens? He gets tested for PEDs, and he ends up leaving. Then you go to uh, Brandon Roby, the cornerback on the Texans. He had a good season. What happened? Tested for PEDs. Now he's going for the rest of the season. At some point, if you're Deshaun Watson, you're thinking anything bad that's happening, it is. Anything anything that could go wrong will go wrong. And that's exactly what was happening in Houston. And obviously, J.J. Watt was having issues. Again, you heard that when he was, on the, when he was mic'd up talking to Deshaun Watson. He said, I'm sorry, we wasted one of your years. And we should have had at least an 11-5 record with the team that we had. And, I mean, it's really unfortunate to see because I'm going to be honest with you. Deshaun Watson is a top-five quarterback in this league. Take away the team record, he is a top-five quarterback in this league, and nobody can doubt it. Nobody can deny it. Nobody can doubt it. He led the league in, he led the league in, in passing yards. Like, what a losing season. Like, and So, I mean, when you really look at it, you just expect so much out of the Houston Texans. You expect so much more. And – the Sean Watson wasn't getting it. Now, do I see the frustration? Yes. And the Sean Watson, will he be out of Houston? Most likely, yes. And when that happens, we will report. I will, will we will report on it. I mean, it probably will be me and Nate, but we will report it. I hope the Sean Watson goes to a better team. You know what I'm saying? Because Houston was doing them no favors. Now, let me tell you who I do feel bad for now. David Culley. David Culley is coming into a team that doesn't even have a foundation once Deshaun Watson is gone. When Deshaun Watson leaves, they don't have a place to start. He, he needs to figure out a place to start with this team. Who do I want to keep? Who do I want to get rid of? And honestly, if I'm David Culley, for those five years that you will be there, I am rebuilding this team. Because let's be honest here. Desha uh, Deshaun Watson most likely is going to be gone. The future for J.J. Watt doesn't look certain. You know what I'm saying? You don't have another guy to, to compliment J.J. Watt right now. Besides maybe uh, Whitney Merciless, who's decent, but he's not 
great. Zach Cunningham's a good defender. You might keep him, but they don't have a foundation. They don't have a place to start. So if I'm David Culley, the first thing I'm doing is I'm rebuilding this whole team. Mm-hmm. Simple as that. I'm rebuilding this whole team from the ground up. And in those five, in about a fifth year of David Culley's contract, this team needs to be a playoff team. I think four years is enough to rebuild a team. I really do think it is enough. He's got to work fast. He's got a complicated job, but David Culley's got to do it correctly. So he's, he has a tough challenge as the head coach. He, it's going to it's gonna take a toll on him real quick. It's going to hit him re- real quick how big the challenge is. But if he can but if he can successfully rebuild the Texans and give them a new identity, then I can see David Coley staying as the, as the Houston Texans head coach for a very long time. And it's not impossible to do. You know, the Miami Dolphins did it when they got rid of Ryan Tannehill. Mm-hmm. Um, the, um, I'm trying to think of more. The, the Chargers are starting to do it. With uh, Justin Herbert, you look at the, the Bengals, like the uh, Joe Burrow era, era was going to start until he got hurt. May God, may God bless him in a speedy recovery. So it's not impossible to do, but if I'm David Coley, that's my job. As for Deshaun Watson, there are some places that he could go to. You know, we're thinking about places like New England needs a quarterback, but again, I don't think that really would help Deshaun Watson. I think that would be just the same predicament. They don't got anything that Deshaun Watson can work with. The Lions, again, they're out of a quarterback. Now, hear me out here. It's not the worst place for Deshaun Watson to go. Let me explain why. You have Marvin Jones, very good wide receiver, okay? You have Kenny Galladay, very good wide receiver. That's two very good wide receivers, okay? Mm -hmm. TJ Hawkinson, very good tight end. That's three. You improved your offensive line. You have a decent offensive line around around Deshaun Watson. Defense, defense is the key right there to the lines being good because that defense isn't there yet it's not there so there's that that here's where i think he will go okay this is where i think he will go to the indianapolis colts i think we will see i think that's the best i think Deshaun watson should be in indianapolis colt let me explain why obviously you're not happy with the houston texans this isn't helping you're not happy with them right mm-hmm. but what better way to, to what better way to run it down their throats than to play them twice a year Simple as that. That's one. Number two, the Indianapolis Colts got a very promising team. You know, T.Y. Hilton's still there. Um, Ali Cox is a very good tight end. Michael Pittman is a very good wide receiver. They have a very good defense to help out Deshaun Watson, which is something that he was need that was needed in Houston. Because you remember, Deshaun Watson would drop forty one, would drop in the forties, and they still lose. He dropped high thirties, and they still lose. Why? Because they don't have a defense. Indianapolis Colts is a different story. They got a very good defense. You know what I'm saying? They're, Frank Reich is a very good is a very good head coach. And I think Deshaun Watson would strive in Indianapolis. Think about it this way. The Indianapolis Colts made it as the seventh seed, I believe. Okay? No. Sixth. I think they made it as the sixth seed, I believe. I think they made it as the sixth seed because I think the seventh seed was the Browns. Yeah. They, oh, correct. Oh, yeah. So I think they made it as the sixth seed. Okay, they made it with Philip Rivers. Now Philip Rivers is not a bad quarterback. Okay, well, let me ask something: Is Philip Rivers the most mobile quarterback? No, no. So we obviously took some sacks, right? Is he the youngest quarterback? No. no. So obviously, you could. So obviously, he was probably getting hit a lot, and it probably wasn't take. It was probably taking a toll on him. Deshaun Watson's not that. Deshaun Watson is a very young quarterback. He's got a hell of an arm, just like Philip Rivers. He can move out of pressure, like like he can make it. He can he can get out of pressure and make it look like it's nothing. So why wouldn't the Sean Watson going to the Colts? I don't see why that wouldn't make any sense. Right, Phil Rivers is gone. He's retired. Your next quarterback up is Jacoby Brissett. Now, is Jacoby Brissett a a bad quarterback? No, but is he great? No, which is why I think the Sean Watson going to the Indianapolis Colts makes the most sense here. Absolutely, and I want clips, man. The Colts were the seventh seed. I didn't know that. I thought the okay, Bills they were the seventh seed. Oh, okay, because the Bills were uh, Bills are number two. That's right, my bad. But even That's despite right. that, despite that, they, they they barely lost to the Buffalo Bills, who were a great team. So you think the Sean Watson being on that team? I think if the Sean Watson goes to the Colts, I think you could definitely see the Colts make an AFC Championship run. Do I see him beating the Chiefs? No, because the Chiefs are just on a different level than everybody else. 
but I can definitely see Sean Watson and the Indianapolis Colts going to an AFC Championship game. I do, and um, I wish the best of luck in Deshaun Watson's future, and excited to see what happens and what team he ends up landing on.